Hi everybody, my name is Justin Stoney and I'm the founder of New York Vocal Coaching here in New York City. Welcome to episode 43 of Voice Lessons to the World, the show where we want to help you guys as singers by answering your questions from all over. And I'll give you a chance to ask questions later, but our question for this week comes from Tiet M in Parnu, Estonia. And Tiet writes, Dear Justin, what the heck is that Bee Gees voice? <laughs> Is that falsetto or head voice? Now, <laughs> that's good. That's good, Tiet. Uh, what the heck is that Bee Gees voice? What is that crazy sound that we've heard, uh, you know, from the 70s that the Bee Gees did? Uh, I'll tell you about what that is today. And I like that question, is that falsetto or is that head voice? Okay. Um, it's actually something that people call a reinforced falsetto. And I'll describe this particular coordination to you guys today and give you a chance to learn uh, how that's really done in case you want to. Uh, and uh, first let me show you though uh, what that sound is, right? I'll take the classic uh, Staying Alive by the Bee Gees so you can hear that once again. There's that reinforced falsetto sound. Now, why is that so hard to uh, comprehend? It is because falsetto, we usually think of that as a thin sound, but there's a certain solidness to that Bee Gees kind of voice, that reinforced falsetto. So I'm gonna to describe to you guys what is being done to make that kind of sound today, this reinforced falsetto. But let's go back one step. We did the episode before on uh, falsetto versus head voice. And so let's, let's make sure we remember what this is. Now, I know it's very confusing because women, when, a, when you call a, a woman's head voice, is actually about the same thing as a male falsetto. And the terms get so crazy when we get them all mixed and matched. But basically, women do indeed have a falsetto. It's just called head voice, okay? When a male sings in head voice, it's actually a more thick sound than when a woman sings in head voice. So women can do a reinforced falsetto too, and males, of course, can, can do this. But uh, falsetto, in general, is a very decompressed sound with the chords. They're loose and they're kind of airy, right? But when I go up top uh, in this song, my chords do not sound loose and airy. If they did, I could do Ha, 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 staying alive, staying alive. But that's not the sound. It's Ha, 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 staying alive. And I have that little bit more solidness. So how the heck am I getting that solidness when I'm really not in a male head voice or a female kind of belt mix? I'm really in my falsetto. What the heck is happening to cause that to not sound so loose and breathy like head voice and falsetto can? In this instance, what it is to reinforce this falsetto is a higher larynx and also a nasal resonance, right? In this case, we're allowing the larynx to come up and the fact that the larynx is coming up is bringing the chords in greater proximity so we're getting a tighter seal, but not in a mix kind of way. Now, I could actually mix this. I could belt uh, staying alive. It'd be crazy. Stand alive! Holy God. Okay, so we wouldn't want to do that. I mean, we could, but that's a real belt of staying alive. That's not a reinforced falsetto. That's a true uh chest dominant mix, right? But we're trying to let the chords be a little looser, like falsetto, but be tightened by the high larynx. So, stay alive! It's a little bit different sound. So, again, the key ingredients for a reinforced falsetto, something that doesn't compress all the way to a mix, but does have a compressed sound, is just allowing that larynx to come up in this case and adding some nasal resonance by dropping the soft palate and allowing the sound to get into the nasal cavity. Those are the key ingredients, okay? So now I'm just gonna give you guys an exercise. This could be done uh, by males or by females. 
to get this particular coordination. Again, it's just one of many, but we're trying today for a reinforced falsetto. So we're gonna do M-E-E-M -E -E meme. I just want you guys to do <clears throat> meme, 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 meme. Try it. That's cool in the nerdiest possible way. Try it again. Meme, 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 meme. Crazy and awesome. So here's what to avoid. We're not gonna go me, 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 me. We're not going to let it be an airy head voice or an airy falsetto. We're gonna let it be a little bit solid. Me, 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 me. Fantastic. Okay, so now we're gonna put this to an exercise and you're gonna let this be bright, let it be twangy, let it feel really up here. And nothing's gonna hurt, nothing's gonna be squeezed, but you are going to feel uh, the thyroid cartilage lift up a little bit. That's what we're doing for this particular sound. So here we go with that craziness right here. Me, 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 me. Here you go. Nice. Great. Me, 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 me. Good for you. Keep it nerdy, keep it bratty. Nice. Great. Me, 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 me. Great. Me, 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 me. Good for you. Spectacular. So nice. Me, 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 me. Two more. Last one. Me, 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 me. Okay, great. Uh, if any of you are still watching, I'm amazed. <laughs> uh, that's a crazy sound, okay? And we want to be open-minded here. I know that's kind of ridiculous, but you got to be able to do multiple coordinations in your voice, uh, as we know. And so, Tia, I think that's a really cool question to ask about this sort of crazy different sound that we sometimes hear. Uh, and it's actually not just the Bee Gees. You hear this uh, a lot in um, actually uh, some of the rock sounds and some of the metal sounds. People get up super high uh, in something that's actually a falsetto and learn to compress via different larynx coordination. So it's a lot of fun, and I hope you guys had fun with this one today. So T it and all, if you have questions that you'd like to see us answer on the show, you can send an email to questions at voicelessonstotheworld.com. And so we just encourage you not to lose that joy. Don't lose that passion. Get with a great voice teacher in your area and don't let people tell you that you can't sing. If you guys are in New York City or you want to Skype with us, you can visit www.newyorkvocalcoaching.com. And I just encourage you guys to get the uh, app that we have for uh, iPad, iPhone, and hopefully more uh, later on. It's got a lot of free resources on there, lots of videos, uh, lots of articles, free tips, lots of uh, information that hopefully helps you guys take your voice to the next level. So download that app. Like I say, it's free. Uh, and then you can also visit www.voicelessonstotheworld.com. I'm Justin Stoney. We'll see you next time.